It's me. Yeah, and I don't know if you saw my video yesterday, but it is 100% not a joke. My computer is dead. It's gone. I've been trying to learn how to record and edit videos on my phone. I have never played Earthbound. I've seen Earthbound. I've used many songs from Earthbound in videos, but I have never played it. It's a darn shame, and I think today is the day we start it. What the freak are you doing? Stop. Go back. Earthbound on my SNES Classic. Let's check it. Let's check it out, guys. Keep in mind, I am recording this entire thing with my phone and editing it on my phone. So the edits are not going to be crazy. But something tells me this type of game. Stop. I don't want to ruin anything. Something tells me this kind of game is not going to need a whole lot of edits anyway. So let's dive in to Earthbound. Come on. Fast text speed, please. Stereo sound. Oh, oh, mint flavor, strawberry flavor, banana for sure. Easy. Please name him. It's supposed to be Ness, right? Let's just go classic style. Let's go Ness. That's fine. I'm not trying to be all crazy. Oh, wait, I don't know what her name is. Uh, uh, oh, no, I do know. I'm supposed to know. Wait, can't you? Paula. Okay, I did know. That means I named him all caps Ness on accident. Oh, who freaking cares? Jeff. My name is Jeff. Uh, you're a ninja with a tiny little hat or maybe a freaking Jedi braid. I can't tell what his name is Pooh. His name is Pooh. <laughs> okay. Hey, nice to meet you. Oh, a pet. Ooh, I'm going to do everything their default names because I've never seen the game before. And I'm not trying to be too crazy. Oh, favorite handmade food, though. I can I can weigh in on this one. This one I can pick. Tacos. Duh. Freaking duh, dude. <coughs> What's your favorite thing? Uh, dogs. Do are dogs a thing? They are now. Dogs are my favorite thing. Coolest thing? Dogs. Favorite food? Tacos. Yup. Dude, this is sick. Also, the, the music is very good. I've heard a lot of songs from this game already. Full disclosure, I use them in videos. I download them <laughs> and use them. Having never played the game. Like, what an idiot. But it's been a long time since we did a series where it's... Oh, the year is 199X. It's been a long time since we did a series like this, like Undertale, where it doesn't need a whole lot of edits and it's a long game. You can get into it with all the characters, just a real RPG. And apparently Undertale was heavily influenced by this game. Onet, a small town in Eagleland. I thought it said England at first, and I was like, everybody's about to have a British accent. But we're not going to do that. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> Actually, I have done that to you before. Have you seen Pocket Mirror? Everybody British in Pocket Mirror. All right. Let's, uh, let's undertake. I mean, Earthbound. Ness's house. I did not mean to all caps those. That's fine. Everyone who says his name is screaming it. Ness! Bro, just straight sleeping. Okay, if he climbs a mountain and jumps in a hole, this is literally Undertale. I hear something. Dang, dude. He farted in his sleep and shook the foundation of this world. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's check everything. Can you check the dresser? No problem. No problem here. Hey, no problem here. Okay. Um, that button brings up my stuff. Oh, who are you talking? Oh, that's that's a good point. Who am I talking to? So basically, something went bump in the night, and we're out here to investigate. Let's go in here. What can I do? Give me stuff. Oh, that doesn't let me run. Who is this? Who are you? I'm talking to her. She's right in front of me. Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? I mean, why are you in your room fully dressed with the lights on in the middle of the night? Can we talk more about that? Ness, open the present. There's a cracked bat inside. Ooh. Am I supposed to freaking smack somebody with that? Hold up. Equip. Weapon. Cracked. Yup. Oh, it's like Chrono Trigger. I played Chrono Trigger. Let's check this. Can I steal her goods? What do you got in here, sis? Okay. So I figure... <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. I figure we play, you know, 30 odd minutes of this at a time. I'll skim through and trim out little parts where not much is happening, but I ain't gonna cut a lot out of this because it's like the full experience. You know what I mean? Look at me go. Hi. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? <laughs> and now you want to go check it out. Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. I have zero control over my children. At least change your pajamas. All right. Yeah, dude. Freaking looking cool as... Whoa. Did you see that? What was that? Did this thing just glitch? Did I just break the SNES classic? What the... F what the flip-flop was that? My fellow crackerheads? You can't say that. It's racist. So sorry. Can't check the phone. Dog, you want to come with me? Dog, come with me, dude. 
Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? That's a good question. I should be asleep. So you can't really do anything with this check menu. Nothing's letting me check. I'm used to these games where you check every single thing. And it's like, it's a potted plant. But not today. How about my mailbox? Can I check that? No, there's no problem there. You only check it if there's a problem. Oh, the cops got this whole thing boarded up. Oh, that police are infamous for closing roads if something's going on. We are going for the world record. <laughs> I have also been told that this game is like really funny. Like they have a good sense of humor. Don't panic. It's just a the meteorite that fell. I just, I want to what? Go home. Okay, so that guy's very confused. He's, he's clearly very confused. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. I feel like a meteorite is a pretty good thing to take seriously. South to the suburbs of Onet. Onet. This guy, that's a cool looking guy. What you, you selling drugs over here, bud? What you doing? Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. I just, eventually I'll have to go somewhere. Right now I'm just going to walk in place by this tree and, and I'll be the first. Idiot. You're not even trying. Eventually I'm going to find something with all this checking. I will find something. Hey, bud. Oh, what's up? My boy. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Mom and dad aren't home yet. Home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. I just had a stroke while I was reading that. I said home ret. Oh my gosh, I can just go through the... Why do they have a lamppost in the middle of their house? It's going to let me go through their whole house. They ain't got nothing. Can I touch this and get hurt? No. Okay, you can't steal their stuff. That is just frustrating. I just want to steal. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm kind of excited for this game, dude. I know that it's long. Like, I know that it's a... My headphones are about to fall. It's a really long game from what I've been told. But you know what? If it if it's a knockout, if it's a if it's a knockout of the park, we can play it more. I don't mind. I'm just going to... Oh, there's more stuff going on up there. We'll find a way. Wait, this is apparently not the way. Do you know the way? Ha ha ha. Ugandan Knuckles meme. Oh, what's up, dog? Hey, what you doing back here? Don't know what time it is. Get your butt home, pronto. I'm gonna walk right by you. No one controls me, not even my mom. Think I'm gonna listen to you? A meteorite has landed. The shocks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Just pack a sandwich, dude. Don't blame me for the fact that you didn't plan ahead. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Wow, everyone just lets Ness do whatever he wants. He's kind of a spoiled brat because it's like his mom was like, go to bed, but I know you won't. The police are like, go home, but I know you won't. People don't, people don't, they don't mess with Ness. They've seen his performance in Super Smash. So they know what he can do. Hey, you, don't you know what time it is? <coughs> no, because I'm using my phone to record this. So I can't see with the time. Sorry. Sorry, I don't. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Hold up. There was a present over here. Who's leaving these presents? This is a good way to get kidnapped. <laughs> Just checking presents on a hilltop. Ness, open the present. There's a bread rolling. I freaking love bread. Yes. Dude, I wish I could be adventuring and just find a box of bread. I'd take that real quick. Hey, Ness, how you, buddy? A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also wanted to... Oops! I almost told you about my... Uh, by the way, Ness! Did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Okay, uh, whatever... It stops you from almost telling me whatever the heck you were about to tell me about. Treasure Hunter. This is Lear X Agarit's house. Okay. So he was probably about to tell us about some treasure that he wants to have for himself. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. <laughs> uh, a different than usual. What kind of meteorites do you usually see, bud? Shh, shh. Okay, my bad. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Pfft, no. I'm just kidding. Sure. I guess we are. And you live in the house next to his, I see. Yo, dude, you got to chill out, man. These cops don't like you. Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cop. Oh, I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Okay, I decided because he has overalls on, I guess I decided he's country. I don't really know how or why that came out of my mouth. Clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, of way, out, get my, whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. Pokey, oh, he's got me boxing. Pokey, let me out. You can go home now. Tomorrow, ah, Pokey, we'll tell you more about the strange meat. Okay, we've already read this. Hey, he really, he's really not going to let me. 
up here? Is there another way up? Hold up, there might be another way. Look, I can, okay, just jump. It won't let me do it. How do I, do I need to talk to that other cop again? Maybe we need to talk to this other cop again. Yo, dude, he won't come with me. Nope. So is this not one of these games? Oh, I accidentally said I'm not friends. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Pokey, come with me. Pokey. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I, okay, we've been playing this game for 11 minutes and I'm stumped. I, I really need to, can I not just walk by? Check this thing. Oh no, and I don't have editing to save me. I really, so wait, I actually have to go home? The game's gonna make me go home? I can see them doing stuff up there. Okay, I'll go home. The game tell me go home. <laughs> the game tell me go home. I go home. <laughs> The game tell me what do? I do. Okay, so this is not a game that you can talk to someone multiple times and get different results. Which drives me nuts, because in RPG games, I like to click on people a bunch of times. And they tell me different different kind of stuff. <coughs> if people like this, like I've said for, listen, I've said for a long time. That if the channel ever got big enough, I would play all these old games that I never got to play. And I missed out on. I would play them. Uh, uh, because you know when you're a smaller channel you can't get away with playing stuff that's not relevant because then your channel will die and no one will watch it but if you're big enough you can trick people into watching it I'm tricking you haha <laughs> because I really want to play these kind of games welcome home Ness it's not necessary to talk about it tonight it's late scoot off to okay I'll scoot to bed I would love to scoot to bed right now actually I'm super tired dealing with this computer nonsense all day later that night someone slurped a cup of water someone knocking on my door Someone's pounding on my door. That sounds like the police. You better get... See, I gotta put on my freaking... Oh my gosh, they're like freaking jamming on my front door. They are like going in on my front door. Did you hear that? Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. They're literally like... They're like getting it, dude. My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer? Mom, why do I do everything? My God. Oh, it's Pokey. Of course it is. Is this Pokey's theme? What the freak is that? Hey, listen to what I gotta say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <clears throat> Yo, you talking crap about my mom, Pokey? <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing suddenly left to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, they're the local ruffians. They were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Sure, I'm not picky about it. <laughs> okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand before we go. <clears throat> Why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? You're a suck up. He's a suck up. I know the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The cracked bat and tracers already did that. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out your jammies before. What if I don't? Dang it, it didn't even give me the choice. I was about to go the whole game in my freaking slippers, dude. That way, when everyone sees me, they know I like to chill. And that's mostly just how I am. I don't look like a tryhard. What the freak? She pushed me back up. The Yo, don't do that. Okay, what do you got? To she was like blocking me. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry, so here's a cookie. Sisters are so tight. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang up? Nah. Be careful. I need, I need my bread and my cookie. Yeah, sure. You're cool. What up? Dang, his mom just freaking toasted him, dude. All right, King. Do you want me to go with you? Yes, I do. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Good boy. I want to pet you under your head. King joins you. All right, Pokey, get your freaking fat butt up. Let's go. All right, you go out in front, and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. I like these little sounds. <laughs> They're very, very epic. Oh, uh, my, let me guess. I have to get that too. I answer the phone. I answer the door in the middle of the night. I do everything. Sure, I'll, I'll do this. Ness answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like that? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record. Oh, we save with him. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Score this dude spoiled, by the way. You have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Ah, ha, ha. He said, wah, ha, Our father is Waluigi confirmed. So let's call him up, dude. Yeah, we called dad. 
EXP to get to the level four, next level four. Yeah, save my game, dude. Good dear old dad, I was also thinking about hitting the hay. I've created a record of your adventure. Good night, sleep tight. No, we're continuing. Get the freak out of here. It's only been 15 minutes. I don't think it's good to work too hard. I don't know why I made him a 1930s reporter. Uh, feel free to give me feedback on the voices. I know you will anyways. Probably very rudely and oh my god, it's an insane bird. Yo, so is this so this game the monsters are actually in the over It's not like Pokemon where you're walking in the tall grass and they just jump you. So let's get it. Let's get after this dude Oh first battle. I think it's turn-based in this right? Yes, it is and it's weird because you don't see your characters Which is very weird to me PSI I already have oh, okay. I was about to say I don't have that yet. Let's just bash the spiteful crow He pecked my eyes. Holy crap. King growled and lunged for, but the crow dodged it. Pokey just smiled at him. And then I hit him for 10 with my bat. He's pecking my eyes out! King, do something! King is barking. Pokey... Dude, no, no one does anything but me. This is so annoying. Spiteful crow has a big grin. King charged forward. He dodged. Pokey complained. Pokey used his turn to complain. While I literally hit a bird out of the air with a baseball bat while they were trying to peck my eyes out. There's a cookie in there. All right, so I got 14 HP left. Cool, I guess, so I can't even actually control my other characters, which is kind of nuts. Yo, that's kind of crazy. Okay, look out. Ooh, okay. I almost, I think if they hit you in the back, they get like first turn, but I turn around just in time. But if you hit them in the back, you get the first. Why does this guy always peck my eyes? Thank you, King. Oh my God, he's dodging. The battles are not easy in this already. These are the first battles in the game and I'm about to die. I have seven HP. Please die. Okay, we need to use a, a, a cookie. Don't, okay. Whoa, King, you're nuts, dude. Okay, seven HP, and I don't think it heals between battles. There's another cookie, so I'll go ahead. Oh, I leveled up. Please give me HP. Offense went up by two, maximum HP by two. The power of life up. Ooh, so I can't, I think I can use my PP power for that. Um, let's find out, hold up. PSI, life up to one of us. I tried life up. Hey, it worked. It didn't let me pick who I did it on though, which is a little worrying. Oh, that's a snake. That's a freaking snake right there. Okay, I'll kill him. I'm just gonna step on his head. Also, if I saw a snake, I would not just go, okay, I'll go fight it with my bat. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm going the other way. <laughs> all right, bash the coil snake. King got him a little bit. Pokey acted all innocent. Pokey is the worst, man. He's not doing anything. So you can see why. Oh, I killed him already. <coughs> you can see why with my channel, especially being the way it is with I do a lot of fast-paced things Or I like to think I do anyways. You can see why battles like this Okay, why was he running away? Can, can kind of be a slower pace type of deal and not everyone I think is gonna be into watching this with the battles being like this But hopefully you are hopefully enough of you are that we can actually make this a series and that's why I feel comfortable trying to edit this on my phone because I don't think I'm really going to be able to do much in the way of edits. He stole a bread roll? What? In the confusion of the battle, it's just us and the bird. He takes a bread roll? I'm going to notice. Hopefully if I kill him, I get it back. Right? Surely. What was the the bread roll destroyed in the accident? If he didn't drop a bread roll, I'm throwing this controller. I'm upset. That is... So much disrespect. Oh, you can hit L to quick check. I like that. I did not know that. How many HPs do I got? 12. We need to eat another. Hold on. How many PPs do I have? Only five. Okay. Only five PPs. Let's take a cookie in my mouth. Ness ate the cookie. Okay. So it didn't have me choose because. Oh, it's a. It's a. Oh, what is that? Is it a puppy? Dog versus dog. Yo, you can go to jail for betting on this. Let's bet on it, dude. I bet you my dog wins. Runaway dog use a biting attack. Oh, and you have rabies. You'll slowly die <laughs> for the rest of your life. Nice shot, Ness. Oh, crap. But how do I already only have... Okay, we killed him. Didn't I just eat a cookie? I have 12 HP. Hold up. Also, this dog didn't drop no dang cookie. How much does this give back? Only 6 HP per cookie? What a waste of my freaking time. I'm gonna eat another one, I guess. I mean, I've got all these cookies. I'm a, I'm very upset he ate my bread roll. Like, I'm very upset. Oh, I saw my ATM card in my inventory too. That's cool. We can use that. All right. Hey, man, you got any cookies? Hey, Ness. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Okay, so you can't... Okay, sorry. I, I had to talk to him again because I wanted to hit my L button to see if, if it let me quick talk. 
I like to quick talk. Oh yeah, there's his brother up there, picky, right? I guess he's not picky about wandering off in the middle of the night. <gasps> there's a there's a butterfly down there. Ah, oof! If I knew this was gonna be a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Yo, man's best friend has just fled the scene. Mine got. All right, let's go get picky real quick. What's up, buddy? Picky. What? Oh. You woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. I'm glad you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. So, Pokey left him and ran away and then came and got us to come back up here. The heck? Alright, let's 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 look at this. Ness! Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? No. Oh, come on. You must hear it. Oh, now I definitely hear it. What the freak? This thing's about to explode. We need to move, dude. It's a terrorist attack. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. It's on my head a little bit. Look out. It's a bug. A meteorite, it just spit out a bee. A bee I am. Not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gy Gygus? G-I-Y-G. Gygus? The universal cosmic destroyer sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. It's an alien bee. However... You must listen. Where I am from, there's a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This, I believe- Oh, it's giving me feels! The, the music and the story and everything's giving me feels, dude. I'm getting Undertale feelings. Like an adventure is beginning. Gygus monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage and friendship, and determination. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen? I sure freaking did. Thank you for listening to my story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Okay, did he- what did he say his name was? Who- who do we have here? Buggo? Buzz Buzz now joins you. We got a big party, dude. Four people. Ness! Looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Cuz, I'm not in this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart's almost pounding right out of my chest. Alright, you're a wuss, dude. You're of zero help all the time. Zero help. Freaking douche. Also, there's no cell phones, so I mean... Kind of screwed on that front. Come visit me later alone. Okay. Ooh, I'm hearing alien sound. You heard that? It's like the Hunger Games a little bit. <laughs> Look out. All right, we'll get back down to the house and then we'll pick up on episode two later. I can probably crank these out pretty quick because I'm not really editing them. But I need your help. Gamers, rise up and hit that like button if you want to see more Earthbound. There has been a small but very devoted group of people. Oh, freak. Who? It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stop you hard. Yo, you're about to get destroyed, dude. Oh, my dog's not here anymore. That's no good. Okay, let's hit him. Starman Jr., huh? Buzz Buzz tried Psy Shield. Is that gonna work? Ness's body was protected by Psycho Shield. Whoa, cool. He protected all of us with a Psychic Shield. Picky attacks. Yo, I'm about to go sicko mode on you, dude. Six damage. Starman, Starman Jr. side fire. Oh, freak. My psychic shield made it disappear. Oh, sick. But I wonder if it lasts or if, it, if it's gone now or what. Buzz Buzz hit him for 134. Picky actually attacked. Pokey is playing dead. Pokey is literally the worst person on this planet. Oh, he got us this time, boys. No, we still got a psychic shield. Wow. Buzz Buzz is OP. We're probably not going to have him for very long, huh? Because this is way too good. Psychic Shield became stronger. I love you, Buzz Buzz. Picky is actually attacking. He's like four years old. Pokey sucks a few butts. 93. Okay, he's dead. Great job, Buzz Buzz. And no one else really did anything. I leveled up to level three. Offense up. Guts went up. Vitality up. IQ went up. HP by 13. Pee pee. <laughs> I got five pee pee <laughs> points. <laughs> Whew. 
I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds, naturally. It is the truth, so listen. I, be I believe you, man. Uh, is this my house? This is where we're going, right? Or do we need to take these kids home? We probably need to take these kids home, right? They're one to the left, right? Yeah, they live right here. Let's get them home. Sorry that, about bringing a freaking bug in your house, by the way. Oh, I like this song. No problem here. I'm trying to talk to... Oh, that's his mom. Dang, her her lips are freaking huge. Where'd Sam Hill have you boys been? I have to think of a suitable punishment. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, and there's a dad who looks rich for some reason. I'm really sorry my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Oh, they're running upstairs. Dang. Oh, he's chasing them. Look out. Fat dad's about to bring the pain. Yep. He's spanking him. I just heard it. Dang, he, he caught them both with one slap. By the way, I'd be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000. Oh, dang, Dad. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. Are you sure? It doesn't seem like that. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh, well. Nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Buzz Buzz landed on her head. I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts up. Hold up. Interstellar from the future Buzz Buzz just got swatted by somebody's mom? What? Ah, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now <coughs> begin your adventure. See? You. You're kidding me. Buzz Buzz is dead? Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. <laughs> to defeat Gygus. You, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? I do. I'm sorry that you died because of someone's fat mom. You're a very intelligent young man. And, oh, the pain. Everything's getting dark. <sighs> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It's a soundstone. You can record the melodies from your from the eight sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. Epic gamer item. By the way, I'm almost gone. <laughs> but did you want to hear the story? No, I'm good. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. <laughs> Poor... Why is it fanfare for him dying? Burp, 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 burp. He's dead. Look at this woman's face. You just killed... You don't even know. My husband is very soft-hearted. Shut up. Get me out of this house. I need to go save anyways. Because it's time to end this episode. It's been 29 minutes on the dot. Oh. We get the sunrise song. So we basically didn't sleep. Should probably do that. Oh, I know this song. I've used it. I've used this song in videos before. Oh, what the freak? Hello? Oh my god, who are you? Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fun to send memories. And he goes, he blasts off to outer space. That's fine. So I can already see how this is like Undertale in that there's so many like strong characters in it. Like these characters have real personality. It's insane. Okay, let's call our dad real quick and save. Deposited $42. $72 in the bank. I'm making more in this game than I make in real life. All done. Your dear old dad was thinking about hitting the hay. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get off of here. So I hit end, right? We're a great team, aren't we? Just turn the power off instead of pressing reset, alright? Oh, and it just waits here for you to that's strange. Anyways, uh, it's been exactly 30 minutes, and I think that's how long I want to do these. I'll trim out little parts if there's anything really to trim out, but I don't know that there will be. So let me know what you think. We're keep in mind. Editing on my phone. I don't own a computer right now. This is ridiculous. My life has taken a turn. But I hope you guys, one, enjoyed this, and two, appreciated that I freaking, I'm working my butt off to get videos out, even though the situation is not good. So anyways, I love you guys so much. I don't know if I'll have an outro after this, if I'll have to figure out how I can even do that. But either way, I love you guys very much. Let me know if you want to see more of this game, because I'd love to bring it to you. Keep those chins up, work hard, and believe in yourself. I'll see you in the next video, and as always, have a bye five.